What's going on everybody? It's your boy X here and today I'm back with another video. Now this video was unexpected and then playing this and stuff, but uh one of my subscribers, uh uh Max Love, uh, you know, asked a really good question. So uh shout out to you for asking this question. So it's basically is how did I start gaming? You know, my how did I start gaming, how did I Know, become the gamer I am today, who got me into it, what systems that I had, you know, so forth. So if you guys do and you enjoy today's uh, video, make sure you uh, um, smash that subscribe button, uh, share the video out, and uh, so forth. But I want to say I was planning to do, uh, I am going um, doing reactions to uh, the Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, and the Watch Dogs Legion uh, raw gameplay because some people got to play it early. So I'm gonna be reacting to those uh, um, uh, those things. I'm at, I'm after this, so uh, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. So basically, how did I get into gaming, or how did I start gaming? So uh, his comment uh, his comment says, um, "How did I start in gaming? What games do I like to do on the, uh, play on the PS4 and stuff?" But I, don't, I have my notes, so I'm going to break it down piece by piece. And, uh, yeah, so, starting off. So, start, uh, who got me into gaming? Or how did I start gaming? Okay, so, basically, my grandparents got me into gaming. Now, I know people are going to say, like, what? Yes, my grandparents got me my first, uh, console, um, uh, they got me the N64 or the Nintendo 64. Um, pretty much, you know, growing up, it was always uh, poor, it was struggling, and didn't have you know, a lot of money or barely any. So, my mom couldn't really afford, you know, like a lot of things for us, except for food and, and some clothes. Um, so, basically, um, you know, my grandparents, you know, came over one Christmas and they got me my, uh, they surprised me and my brother with the, S the N64 and it came with Smash Brothers, the the classic one. And I think, uh, I think it came with also the Super Mario 64 too. Two games that are ranked as a, as a legend and a classic, the, a love by many. So, uh, yeah, so... Basically, I fell in love. I started to play it nonstop, and then, uh, then they brought us our, our other system, which was the GameCube. So uh, basically, that just pushed it even higher. And my all-time favorite game on the GameCube was uh, the Luigi's Mansion. Now, I still know. Uh, the, I think the melody of the song in that game. I can hum it. I can. You know, I I finished that game like a hundred times. Like I loved that game so much, and I I never played the sequel and stuff because it was on the three DS and stuff. I never got none of those handhelds, but uh, um, but but you know, but the classic one, it was just oh, the Luigi's just mentioned was uh, it, it it was just go in my opinion for the for the GameCube, but uh. Anyway, then I I got the I, I got the Smash uh, Smash Bros Melee. I got Super Mario Sunshine, and I think that was it pretty much. Then, uh, you know, so after that, I was playing and stuff. You know, you no, know, I was loving Nintendo, but then, but then, uh, my mom got me. But well, my mom finally, be um, I, I, it, it was I think it was the used one. She got me a PS2. Now, I didn't really know Sony like that or PlayStation like that. My first introduction with PlayStation was PS2. Of course, then, then I went back to play the PS1 and stuff. But uh, no, um, that came out before I was born. Um, but my first, I got, uh, she's probably with PS2. And the first game, believe it or not, I just made a video about this, was Slide, was Slide 2. So basically, and stuff, that was 
um, you know, I was like, wow. I said, well, I, I said, what is this? I said, this is, you know, Fantax. I think it was, I got Sly and GTA uh, Vice City. Now, before, like, my mom was the type that she didn't care about, uh, you know, what kind of games that, that we played. I mean, I, just a little bit, but as long as that we didn't, like, you know, repeat any of the words or do all the stuff and stuff. I was, like, I was playing Ray M games on the N64. Uh, remember, like, Conquer, uh, Conquer the Bad Fur Day? Yeah, so I, you know... I wasn't, you know, that type of, I, I, I wasn't like the type, the, 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 I wasn't the type of parent to say, you can only play this certain amount of games or, you know, this raid game because it has this raid and stuff. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that, no, that I do that because since I have kids now and stuff, you know, they don't play, you know, you know, raid and games like how, how, how I did because every kid is different. So, uh. Basically, you know, I was one of them that, you know, just loved it. I didn't repeat because it was, I knew it was a game. So, basically, when I got my PS2, it came with Slide 2 and GTA Vice City. So, GTA Vice City was my introduction to Grand Theft Auto. And Slide 2 was, you know, when I got into the, the Slide franchise. So, uh, basically, I fell even more in love. My PS2 was, you know, the biggest collection of games I have, I have to date. No game, uh, could, uh, no uh, system compares to that collection. I have over like 300 plus games. It was just massive and stuff. I loved the PS2. It was, you know, oh, it, it was, it, 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 it was so good. And then, uh, I, I, then of course, uh, then my brother started to, um, you know, my mom got him, after she got me the PS2, then she got him uh, the Xbox, uh, the original Xbox for his birthday. And I was like, what is that? It was like a big brick. And it was just like, he unwrapped it. I was just like, that looks ugly. Uh, but uh, it was the original Xbox. But uh, wow. Like I said, I played both PlayStation and Xbox, so I'm not biased towards neither one of them. Each one of them have the good games, bad games, but my, my, my brother got his first game was Halo, that first Halo and stuff. Me off the bat, uh, when he was playing it, I was like, that's a, damn, this is... That looks fun, and then and then I played it, and I we fell in love with Halo and... Uh, all that so we might like we, we and then because 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 you could play co-op so on xbox me and my brother was big on playing co-op on, on xbox not some of the ps2 but on xbox we it, it, we will always play like like together and, and, and stuff like that so uh but you know and, and I, had, I had the ps2 in my room he had the xbox in his room and and and, and so forth but that was like the best time of of gaming because it was you know you had Ratchet and Clank you had all these you know uh, Jack and Daxter and stuff so I was you know of course like I said I couldn't get the games when they came out or at least I I got them like on clearance or pre owned and stuff because mom like I said my mom couldn't afford it so uh, basically you know that PS2 and Xbox era was you know basically you know th that's like the strongest point now the s 160 so basically um uh basically I, ha I had the ps2 for a long time and uh like i said all these consoles i did not get on launch day because we, um, we couldn't afford it but my brother uh I forgot when he got it, but I he got I think he got it on Christmas. Mom got him the S the S one three sixty. Now, basically, and stuff. I was I was jealous and stuff because you know I get I think the PS three was coming out and I wanted, but she got an Xbox and stuff because she she can only for one. So I was like, oh okay, whatever and stuff. And you know he had you know. He he got he he, uh, he got Halo uh, two and, and and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, you know, 
Uh, he, I think he got, I think he got Grand Theft Auto Four too. So, it was, so it was basically like you know, I of course I played it and stuff. So that's when I started to gravitate towards more the Xbox because the PS2 was showing its age and stuff, and you know I was kind of getting bored with it. But all the new games were coming out on PS3 and 360, so my only choice was to play it on 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 his. So that's what I did. Um, so, you know, we put all the, all, all the, the, on the Grand Theft Auto's, except for San Andreas, because, um, that was on the old Xbox, but, um, you know, all my, all the games, uh, all, uh, um, the first Batman game I played on the 360, you know, the Arkham series and stuff, so basically, you know, I was playing majority of all those big games on the 360 because I didn't have the PS3, so, basically, um, I said, wow, I, said, I only went to PS3. I saw God of War, I saw God of War uh, 3 coming out. I said, damn, and that yeah, because on the PS2, I was a huge fan of God of War. Play like, 1, 2, I I owned a PSP, so, um, you know, I, you know, so I got, I think my sister, my brother, and me on the PSP, so I played, I played all the God of Wars. So, you know, I was, you know, big on that. So, uh, Basically, I said that I need a PS3, so uh, I was, you know, ask, I was begging my mom, asking my mom, but then she turned around and got us the Wii. Now, I grew out, I started to grow out Nintendo after, like, the GameCube. After the GameCube, I didn't really look at Nintendo like that, because, you know, they have, still have Mario and the Wii U, so I was growing out of it, but the Wii and stuff... And no, we really love, but it was the fastest game system we dropped. Like after like about three months, it just sat there clipping dust. Because the only thing that we played was Wii Sports. I mean, you keep bowling and stuff like bro, tennis and everything. It was fun and stuff, but 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 that's like the only game that we got on it. <laughs> so, uh, but we. But, you know, they had the move controllers and it was, you know, new, you know, you, you, know, you know, you had to get up and move around. So that's what made the Wii so popular and stuff. So, um, yeah, but it was also, you know, it was, it was not like, you know, that bad, but, you know, again, it, it, it got, it got born really fast. Then, you know, then we just went back to, you know, I went back to the 360 the other PS2 and then so forth. So, uh, but in 2013, I got the PS3 for my birthday. So, mom surprised me and stuff. It was, you know, it was, it, it was used and stuff. I know the PS3 came out in, I think, 06, 07. But like I said, all these consoles, I was always a few years late. Uh, same with the PS2 and stuff like that. So, um, but it was, it was like, it was like, I was mind blown because I didn't expect that. She just walked in the door and said, here you go, with a GameStop bag. And I already knew it was. And the first game she got me was God of War 3, the game that I wanted to play. So I'm like, oh shit, and stuff, this is real and stuff. So it's like, I'm, you know, I'm getting hyped and stuff. I'm, I'm playing it, I'm, I'm loving it. And it was just like, Man, so I thought to play some of the exclusives that I miss, like, um, you know, like uh, Uncharted and stuff like that. I think I played the first Uncharted, but I didn't play the second, the third one until the Nathan Drake collection on PS4 came out. But um, yeah, I was loving it. I was I was catching up and stuff on, when, on whatever game I can buy because by then I had my own money. So basically um yeah it was it, it was it was just fantastic and stuff but of course you know uh i i of course i i i always been a single player gamer at, at heart always been on one now i ne i so i didn't get into multiplayer games until i i got into the ps3 era and stuff because back on the Back on the 360, when everybody was getting into it, me and my brother would just play, like, co-op together with Halo and stuff. So that's as far as that went. 
But at first, like, online playing with other players around the world, that was on PS3. And so, and the game that did that story all for me was GTA V. Now, I'm going to say no more. GTA V is huge. It's massive. But that game is what, you know, started off, um, start my online career off. And that's honest. Like, that's the first game I actually logged on and, you know, played as other, you know, with other people and stuff. I met some friends that I'm still friends with to this day. You know, we don't play no more. But, uh, yeah, it was it was just amazing. Uh, my brother got two for, for the 360 and stuff. So, uh, that game is, re- re- like, the only game I played online and stuff. And, and then, um, and then, um, then the PS4 was coming out in the fall. Of course, did not did not get it. Cause I just got the PS3 uh, on my birthday, but it, it came out in the fall, and so everyone, you know, was loving it. Uh, you know, was excited and stuff. I was like, well, I can't get it. You know, tough. So you know, I they were still re- they were still releasing the games for the PS3. So I so I, so I got Destiny. Fell in love with that and stuff. And then, um, well, of course, Destiny One was you know. The story was trash, but the gameplay was good. So basically, um, you know, in 2015, I was like, damn, I you know all my friends are moving over to the, the PS4. I said, like, I need to go to the PS4 and stuff. And they re, they remastered GTA, 4, uh, GTA 5 for the PS4. Uh, so I need to get the PS4. They, um, then my mom said, okay, I'll play in half and you play in half. So, I traded in my uh, PS3 to get the PS4, the, the original one. And, you know, I got on, on my birthday, went to GameStop, and we got it. And the first game that I got, uh, the first two games were Destiny and GTA V. Because, why? Because I wanted to play with my friends. So, then, the, then you know, so I was like, I'm on the mind. I'm like, I got the PS4, I got the PS4, like, again. PS4 came out in 2013, got 2015 and stuff. So I was always, you know, late stuff. So I was buying all the games and, and this is when I got a job. So I started to, you know, buy my own stuff and stuff, you know, the Christmases, the gifts and stuff. So I, you know, didn't really, you know, happen like that. But I would buy my own games and stuff, you know. So um, basically I was catching up and stuff, play all those exclusives that I, did, that, that I didn't get to play back then and stuff so uh yeah i was i was excited so so basically so that's what basically so basically who got me into gaming was uh my grandparents on the n64 the n64 started started it all for me and stuff now like i said i'm a huge gamer huge gamer by heart my brother, not my brother, not so much. On all, all my other family members, they grew out of that and stuff. But I'm still a huge gamer. I was, I, I, I will always be and stuff. It's just, you know, my passion. I love talking about it. I, it's like I, it's like I'm not, I'm, I'm not a person that makes, you know, I, 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 I didn't make this channel to be like, oh, he's just trying to be another, you know, Fortnite streamer or something. To, no, I know. About games, I, I know what's good, what's bad, what's not. I know about these companies. I know the history, you know. So I'm know what I'm talking about and stuff. So um, so so basically, yes. But again, I am a single player gamer at heart. I love playing them by myself. I do not really like multiplayer games like that, especially today. Because if you're not playing Fortnite or COD or one of those battle royale games. And stuff, and people label you as trash and stuff. Just Fortnite to me is is trash and stuff. It's oversaturated and stuff. And people are so toxic on the mic and stuff. Like you don't want to play a game and someone and, and someone's calling you, you know, cursing you up and down. That's like halfway across the world and stuff. So you know, you know. So so basically, it's it's, it's like that. I still have my friends on there there, but. It's very toxic now, so I, I so I don't really play online games like that and stuff because, especially you know, a lot of people want to do it's just if I go on GTA, all the people want to do is just kill you. You're trying to make money and play the game, but people just want to kill you. So, 
it gets annoying. It gets frustrating. So that's why I love just playing single player games. That's what really gets you know, uh, know me. I wish that they, you know, that they, you know, stick to that and not make try to make every game have like, a, a, a multiplayer. And I, I, I remember when The Last of Us Two, um, before the leaks, they said that they was taking out the multiplayer. People were flipping out, and I was just like, okay, so. It's not so multiplayer has has, has never really been my thing and stuff. Now I'm not. So it was, I'm a casual. People want to say I'm a casual. I'm, I'm being no. I'm just that is my single player is my preference. So everybody has their own preference and stuff. So basically, that's how I got into gaming. That's how I game it. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you guys you know um you know and you know enjoy gaming? What on what got you into gaming and stuff? If you guys have any more questions? For me and stuff, just come down below and I'll try to make a video or get to when I can. But uh, my love, I hope that I hope that answer your question for you. How I got into gaming, uh, what you know, what uh, what started me on um, my my path in, in uh, I'm into gaming, and what and my games that I, I I I like to play on PS4 and stuff, is single player games and stuff RPGs, you know like that like like, like like basically like that stuff um you know i do own a switch but i don't really play like that um so i just have a, a ps4 and a switch so those are my only two consoles but but i have the ps4 pro now but uh i, I will begin the ps5 on launch on, on launch day so my it's gonna be my first console that i get ever when it first comes out so you know so i, I can't wait for that but uh yeah uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Uh, be a lookout for my reactions to the gameplay. And yeah, uh, stay safe. And I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.